morning and welcome to our daily devotion. Yes, I am back out on the porch. Yay! Um, the wind has died down. It's a beautiful day today. I mean, it's a gentle breeze. It's not like, <laughs> oh, rip-roaring winds. Um, it's sunny and the sky is clear and it's just beautiful. Um, of course, the pollen is abound, but you know what? Even the pollen is not going to ruin my mood in my day today. Yes, it's just beautiful. So, and I'm excited to sit on my porch again. <laughs> um, so today our devotion is called One Step at a Time. And it comes from John 12, 46. And I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> and John 12, 46 says, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Do you sometimes wonder which way to turn? The path before you is unclear and you cry out to God for guidance. It's so hard to wait for direction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But if you wait, it will come. It may be only one step in the darkness at a time, but God will illuminate your path. Jesus is a light, and he promises that he will not leave you in darkness. Ask him for guidance and wait for it to come. Boy, that waiting is hard, is it not? It, it, it's so hard. Matthew Henry said, God has wisely kept us in the dark concerning future events and reserved for himself the knowledge of them, that he may train us up in dependence upon himself and continued readiness for every event. And that is, that is, those are some wise words. Um, you know, it is perhaps one of the hardest things to do is to wait. Especially if you're not a patient person, you want something right now. And sometimes, you know, we don't, we are confused in life or we, we need help and direction and stuff. And so, you know, we all scattered and wandered and try to find our own way in the darkness and try to find the light. But we can't find the light without God's help. You know, he, he is the light that illuminates the dark. And so, instead of depending on ourselves, he wants us to truly depend on him and seek his guidance and his wisdom. And he will give it to us. But it's so hard to wait. We want that instant gratification. We want to know the answer right away. And sometimes it's just not that simple. Sometimes God protects us from knowing everything all at one time. He gives us little baby steps, one step at a time, to figure out our path. And for me, I know that's been hard to, to you know, say, okay, God, what's next? What's next? What's next? And sometimes you just have to be still and listen, and he'll say, this is what's next, or this is what's next. And, you know, you have to follow and be patient and wait, and he will guide you in the direction that you need to go. So, my friends, I hope that, you know, you will continue to seek God's wisdom and, and knowledge and, and His guidance whenever you need to know what your path is leading you to or answers to any problems or, you know, questions. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. And it doesn't have anything to do with our Bible study this morning. It has to do with my hair. Okay, it's getting really long, and I'm trying to decide. I'm asking those faithful people who watch our devotions every day because, you know, I trust you guys' opinion. I'm thinking about getting it cut. Should I get my hair cut short? And then I'm thinking about putting some highlights in it. Because, you know, I used to be blonde until I got cancer, and then when my hair grew back, it came in dark, and I'm not really thrilled with it, but anyway. So I'm trying to decide what to do with my hair. Should I cut it short, and should I color it? Or should I just get it trimmed? My, um, a friend of mine who owns the salon here in town, um, she goes to our church, and she said, I want to do something to your hair. I said, okay. <laughs> and um, so she said, be thinking about what you would like. And so... Um, Help me, guys. Give me some advice here. <laughs> Should I leave it long, short, put some highlights in it, which I really want to do? So I have until this weekend. So let me know before this weekend. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
I really appreciate your support and I enjoy our daily devotion so much it's so nice to get into God's Word I love to hear your comments um, what you think about what what we read the scripture and, and and everything so just let me know all right guys I'll talk to you later God bless and I love you bye